It's possible that no publication over the last 10 years has been vindicated more than vdare.com. That's, of course, named after Virginia Dare, the first person of English descent born in the Americas. VDare has been one of the left's most hated targets ever since Peter Brimelow launched the website back in 1999. For 22 years, it's remained alive against shrieking and flailing efforts to silence its message. For its entire existence, VDare has been smeared as white nationalist for pushing to cut unrelenting flows of immigrants into the United States. They're not white nationalists. That's a lie. VDAR is based on three principles, three ideas that virtually everyone in America believed for the vast majority of the country's history. The first principle is real basic. The first principle is that America is real. It's not a melting pot or just some arbitrary borders with a random collection of world travelers just dumped into it. America's a real nation with a real historic identity, founding principles, philosophies, values, aesthetics. The second principle is that demographics are destiny. Human beings are different from each other. And it doesn't help anyone to lie about it and pretend that everything is a social construct. If America replaces its existing population with foreigners who are more violent or less capable, then this country will suffer. I don't know why that's so hard for people to grasp. It's really quite simple. And VDARE's final principle is that America has a cultural identity that's legitimate and worthy of defending. Diversity isn't America's strength, and if managed incorrectly, it can actually be its crippling weakness. America's strength is its bedrock. The American people. And these people deserve to be protected from a globalist elite that hates them and wants them humiliated or destroyed and replaced or dead. That's what VDARE believes. VDARE publishes brilliant writers and thinkers that conservative outlets are too cowardly to give a platform to. Steve Saylor, Michelle Malkin, Ann Coulter, and a whole lot more. Some contributors have no choice but to use a pseudonym as if they were dissidents in the USSR. If VDARE were allowed to spread their message without being silenced or censored or shouted down, they would have massive support from Americans of all backgrounds. And that's precisely why so many people desperately do not want them to spread their message. I highly recommend that you go to VDARE.com. Great publication, all kinds of insight, really brilliant people writing over there.